Uh, this this is a very unfortunate incident. We are seeing more security. Those are now riot police officers actually uh, coming uh, in. These are now serious boys walking into the room <laughs> to take care of the situation. Now, the most unfortunate thing about this incident is that the people watching out there will start peddling rumors, and the yes. rumors will grow new new facets as they move. And by morning, probably in Kisumu and Siaya and yeah. Migori, they'll be told, Wameiba Kura. Mm. by morning and we'll see different scenes on the ground this is a trigger for violence which we've been calling on politicians to behave uh, decently and avoid and uh, i think it's really unfortunate that we are seeing a very top cadre of politicians in that room and they're the ones that are actually agitating uh, the violence. I think they should be called out too because... And, and, and I think also violence could come from anywhere, yeah. depending on you know, whoever may feel aggrieved. Mm -hmm. But also I think the emphasis, Trevor, at this time really needs to be on insisting that IBC should be left to, to finish. Do, to do their job. I don't know, Kevin, if, yeah. you, if you want to also just weigh in on this. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly very, very disappointed and a little bit surprised by this because, uh, and we already anticipated it, that the moment all these people are cleared at their levels, whether they are MCAs, okay. governors, and uh, members of parliament, they would all troop to boomers. And uh, I think the, the challenge that uh, IBC probably had is the accreditation process because you have leaders who have uh, been elected and uh, you really might not have the opportunity to deny them Entrance because I, I, I see them with the budgets, tags. you know, yeah. tags and accreditation budgets, and that means that they follow due process because the security that has been put at Bomas for this particular um, election, I think, is much more higher mm. than what we have seen in the past. The passage is almost three times you yeah. walk in, you issue your ID, you issue your letter, you identify yourself. Then the second place is, uh, you know, the accreditation badge, which has yeah. to be verified, checked, and so to the extent that IEBC allowed them to get into the hall. Yeah. I think that is a responsibility that rests with IBC, but that as, as, it may, uh, as, uh, as, uh, as it may, behave respectively, behave honorably, mm -hmm. because you are uh, an elected honorable member. So why don't you just want to behave? Of course, some of them have a history, yeah. at least a few faces. We don't know what else is happening from the other sides of the, of the pavilion of Bomas. But it's, uh, it's quite unfortunate because Kenyans are looking forward to continuing with their lives. They have been waiting for this. And the much we can do is to request our politicians, really, Trevor, to um, allow the IEBC to do its work. And, yeah. and if it gets to the point where now we have riot police officers, then it's going to get much.